What's up, guys? Chris Fix. No, no, no. Welcome to this week's episode of Boom or Bust, where we let you know how your favorite YouTubers are doing. Because we look at YouTube channels as a business. And just like a business, Tommy, YouTube channels sometimes are up and sometimes are down. And as you know, Tommy, last week we took a good look and a hard look at how car review channels are trending. And as always, we did it with trending up or trending down. And this week we're going to be looking at, once again, more automotive YouTube channels, but the build channels. So what are build channels? Well, when we did a review channel, a lot of you guys in the comment section said you kind of enjoyed this, uh, you know, look at how these different YouTubers are performing. So we decided to go into build channels. And what we mean by build channels are um, automotive channels where they're doing essentially car builds. So they're either restoring things or they're customizing things or they're changing things on new cars or used cars or salvage cars. So we've got a bunch of different channels here. These are some of the biggest ones we found online. These are some of the biggest guys we watch. And we thought we'd look at how they're doing. Yeah, and thanks to Social Blade, uh, a tool online, you can actually show how the channels are performing. Mm -hmm. Now, we talk about month over month results in Boom or Bust, so we uh, basically rank these from the channels that are increasing in viewership to yep. the channels that are decreasing in viewership. In other words, trending up or trending down. And at the end of this, last time, if you're interested in how our channels are doing, we actually showed you how our channels are doing. But in the comments, you also said that we forgot a bunch of car review channels. So we've added those to this episode. So if you stay to the end, we'll get to the ones that you wanted to hear about on the last show. So let's start uh, with who's trending up. And once again, it's trending up from the least to the most. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, Tavarish. Uh, he's at 3.7 million monthly views. And that is up 0.2%. Uh, and what does Tavarish do, Tommy? Yeah, so Tavarish um, does a bunch of well, he's kind of all over the board, but he's primarily known for his supercar bills. His channel kind of blew up with his twin-turbo Lamborghini Gallardo, um, but right now he's got, you know, the Fast and Furious Murcielago. Uh, he's done a bunch of stuff with some of the older Mercedes. He bought a fire-damaged Ferrari off of Hoovy, and he does these restorations. He's got a Bentley, and here is what his YouTube progress graph looks like. So you can actually see total views um, over several years in this image. And we should also mention that we're focusing on views because subscribers now on YouTube are, you know, they're, they're pretty much just a number that doesn't mean a whole lot in terms of revenue. Yeah, it's basically, you know, hold out your chest and pound it. Right. It doesn't necessarily translate to revenue. Now, Tavarish is uh, a Jalopnik alumni. So our next channel is called Goon Squad. And this is a first in a series of channels that have really blown up in the last couple of years. And essentially you take a wrecked supercar or specialty vehicle and then you fix it up to as new condition. So you do a series of videos on, for example, how to fix a Viper, uh, you know, one that's been wrecked, how to rebuild a Ferrari, stuff like that. So this is what this channel um, specializes in, and they've got really pretty huge views, and they're kind of all over the board. They do everything from, you know, like boats. They have a project boat to Ferraris to even like a GMC Duramax. So Goon Squad is up 7.2%. This is what their progress graph looks like. And they're at 19.5 million monthly views. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just a little bit bigger than Chris Fix. But once again, when you're starting to get into the 10, 20 million views a month category. It's a serious uh, number of views. It's a serious number of views. It's also a serious business because at that point, now we don't necessarily go into how much revenue these channels make. Because we just don't know. We don't know. And, and Social Blade gives you a range, but it's... it's all over the board. It's, you know, it's, it's getting into some serious money. So uh, congratulations, guys. Next is uh, the Car Wizard. Of course, you may know him from Hoobie's Garage. He's Hoobie's mechanic. Uh, and he's blown up recently. He's at 1 million views, uh, up 11.3 month over month. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's kind of a spinoff of uh, Hoobie. <laughs> Well, yeah, the Car Wizard is a super, super, super new channel. He's been around for less than a year. Uh, and once again, it's not necessarily let's follow one project car. It's more like here's the old Mercedes you should buy or here's the old GM product you should buy and here's what you should avoid. So it's a lot of um, videos that, that, that kind of inform you about the automotive landscape, not necessarily one particular vehicle. Next, of course, we have, hey guys, it's Chris Fix. Yeah, so Chris Fix has been doing the YouTube game for a long time, and he's more of like how-to videos, right? So he does how to fix you know, certain parts of your vehicle. He doesn't publish a lot, but what he does publish, they're very thorough, and he goes really in depth on you know, how to replace a transmission, 
how to fix all these issues on vehicles that that is not vehicle specific, but kind of ties into a whole bunch of other um, automotive topics. Yeah, Chris Fix is of course unique in not only that he does very thorough and very comprehensive and I think very like digestible how-tos, which is a great evergreen video, right? If you really want to do a lot of popular videos, you do something that's called a how-to video. In journalism, it's called an evergreen video because people always want to know, for instance, how to change a spark plug. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's at 18.7 million views a month, and he's a, a monster YouTube channel, which is interesting because you never see him on camera. I mean, you always see his hands yeah. and gloves, but you never see Chris. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Chris. Uh, you are rocking it. The next channel is one that has been around for a very long time. As long as we've been around, God, I might. Uh, that yikes. would be, that's, sorry, that's a horrible Australian horrible. accent, yeah. Anyway, it's Mighty Car Mods, MCM. You probably have heard of them. Uh, they started out by making this really killer video where they took a car and made it zombie proof. I don't know if you remember seeing that, <laughs> but that was, yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, and that one just really came out of nowhere. Uh, they're very talented. They kind of use uh, JDM, Japanese domestic market vehicles, as their go to uh, and they use kind of EDM music in a lot of their videos in an interesting way uh, and they're at 7.4 million monthly views up 32.5 percent and they, they've been up and down as the graph shows. Yeah but you know it's a really interesting channel they do a a lot of really interesting builds so for example a long time ago they put a Subaru engine in an old air-cooled Volkswagen yeah. um, and they you know race it against all these other uh, more performance oriented vehicles, but they do a lot of like we said the tuner stuff and they've been very successful with that. Next up is not necessarily a traditional car build channel, this more is a little bit toward the vlogger side of it, but I think we can still consider him a build channel, but that's Hoovy's Garage. Yeah, uh, and of course Hoovy uh, has hit upon a successful formula which is I've bought the worst Pick the car in America, and this is what's wrong with it. Using, of course, the car wizard. It's not. It's not worst. It's, it's the cheapest. cheapest. Yeah, but it, the two are sort of synonymous. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, he's got a whole stable fleet of vehicles, uh, and he takes kind of a light-hearted. Com um, comedic approach to these vehicles and it's uh, just a fun watch. Uh, he's at 7.2 million and he's uh, up 77.3 percent month over month. So Yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah, he's doing really well. Um, he recently got a little show that, well there's a whole background there, a cable show. He, he's um, rocking it so congratulations Hoovy uh, and we enjoy watching your videos. And the number one trending upward build channel is what Tommy? So B is for build. This is another channel that is doing some really crazy stuff. So uh, once again kind of verging into the supercar territory with a lot of their builds. So they've done like GTRs right now they're doing um, a Lamborghini. Uh, they did a Raptor actually. Uh, sometimes it's rebuilds. For example they're putting an LS in this Lamborghini but they are up 90.7 percent which is just huge. Up to 10.5 million. Of course a lot of uh, this upward trending, as we'll see in some of the other channels that are coming up, or downward trending, can have a lot to do with the kinds of videos you're putting out. And one video can really uh, skew these numbers, and we'll see that farther down the list. He's another YouTuber, uh, car YouTuber, that's now doing a boat. He did. He bought an old yacht, yeah. and it got like three and a half million views. So maybe, maybe, maybe everyone hey, should go out hey, and buy an old hey, boat. B is for boats. All right. Now, of course, what goes up has to come down. Now we've got a couple that are trending down. Uh, Boosted boys uh, are down just a tick, 0.5 down to 4.5 million. What do they do? Well, they're actually, I believe, out of Colorado. Yep. So they do a lot of stuff once again in the tuner community. Um, but for example, some of the stuff they're known for are these just crazy Civics. And they take them to Bandemir Speedway and just run insane numbers with these incredible Hondas. Um, and, you know, they, they've been very successful with that formula up to 714,000 subscribers. Uh, next is uh, Rob Dom. He's at 1.5 million. He's down 11%. What does Rob do? So Rob is really involved in, once again, the JDM world, but more specifically, uh, the rotary world. So he has done some crazy stuff with RX-7s. Remember the um, one he took to SEMA? Yeah. One of the, the big things he recently did is he put a rotary um, engine, I think it's like a 13B, into a Corvette. All right, next is uh, Rich Rebuilds. Of course, if you watch our Tesla stuff, you know that Rich Rebuilds is uh, specializing in all things electric. 2.5 million monthly views, down 11.6%. Uh, and last on our trending down, Tommy? Yep, so Sam Crack. So Sam Crack was one of the first that started this whole salvage build 
kind of genre. Yep. So he works with a company called Copart. He goes and buys a salvage name your supercar or interesting vehicle, um, and then fixes it up. And he's down 34.1% this month. Down to 4.8 million monthly views. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are the build channels uh, that we've decided to profile this week. If you've got some that you follow that we haven't, uh, put them in the comments below and we'll try to get to them next week, like we're doing with uh, the reviewers that you guys wanted to know about from last week. So let's start with what's trending up. Um, Saab Kyle um, is trending up. Uh, he's at 3.9 million at 6.3. Now he's kind of switched. You know, we didn't include him last week because Saab Kyle used to be one of the original don't see his face on camera reviewers, right? Ten years ago when we started, he was the monster channel. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, you know, he put himself on camera, and then his views for some reason started to go down, and then he started doing more of a build yeah. series and less of a review, so that's why he really fits into this one. Yeah, so he's um, done a really cool series. He's gotten super into GMC Jimmys. I know, yeah, Sorry. that's a good thing. Though. GMC Jimmys. He's had yeah. a, a bunch of them now, and also, you know, the S10 trucks. So he's focusing more on you know some of these restorations or build projects. The next one is uh, my friend Tom Volk. Uh, he's probably the most underappreciated uh, YouTuber out there. Uh, driven Car Reviews, he's at 824,000, up 11.4%. If you guys wanna see a very professional, a very thorough, uh, and from a production standpoint, probably uh, some of the most professional review out there. Check out Driven Car Reviews. Uh, Tom does a great job. And the one that I think most of you guys put in the comments was Savage Geese. He's out of my old hometown, Chicago. 1.6 million views a month, up 15.3%. Uh, he does also a lot of great production value. There's a lot of like cinematography, a lot of yeah. thought and effort that goes into those videos. Okay, so next on our list is Carfection. Um, I believe they're also CBS, right? Yeah, they're owned by they're owned by the same guys that own CNET, which is CBS. Uh, they've gone through a name change. It used to be, uh, gosh, what did, what did it used to be called? Uh, X Car. X Car. Yeah, yeah. X Car. Uh, and they've gone through different presenters, but they're trending up now. Four point two million, seventeen point five percent month over month out of the UK. Um, those guys, you know, um, have. Uh, gone through a lot of changes. It's uh, a big media production company, and uh, I think, uh, you know, when media production companies get involved in YouTube, sometimes the fit isn't right, and I think that may be one of the things that's happening with those guys. Uh, and the one that everybody asked about, Tommy, is who? Um, Motor Week. Yep. So Motor Week is one of... <laughs> John Davis. <laughs> John Davis, yeah, they're, they're kind of the, uh, the first American-based TV show. He's become a friend of mine, actually. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, that, that reviews cars. And then they've, of course, transitioned to YouTube for a lot of their content. And they've been super successful with these retro reviews. So one of the cool things about Motor Week is they've been doing the same format for, you know, 30 plus years now. Yeah. And they've got all these old reviews of stuff like a 1990 BMW M5. Uh, and if you want to see what that car was like when it was brand new, it's really cool to go to Motor Week and see what um, you know John Davis saw of the vehicle back in 1990 or back in the 80s if it was a you know a old Chevrolet Corsica. He'll tell you. Yeah, 2.1 million views a month, up 22 percent. And the cool thing about um, Motor Week, or the hard thing I guess, is they're you know in a PBS world, and so they have very strict rules as to how and. Um, and when they can get funded. And if you ever watch the whole show, there's a segment called Goss's Garage, which is basically what pays for the entire show. So John's done an incredible job in actually threading the, the PBS needle in having uh, a show that is basically on a public uh, broadcast system, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so congratulations, John, for such longevity. Uh, always watch it. Continue to watch it, really enjoy it. Um, the next one is all, uh, also an interesting channel. It's Harry's Garage, 866,000 views, up 48%. Uh, Harry used to be an editor of a British car magazine, yep. and he's got quite the stable of way cool cars like a Testarossa, old Land Rovers, and the guy just knows his cars backward and forward, and it really shows in the videos. Yeah, he does super, super, super thorough in-depth reviews of um, typically older cars, but he does some new stuff too. So if you ever wanted to know um, you know, what a Renault Sport Clio V6 is like in super in-depth detail, he's the guy to go for. And finally, uh, the biggest mover and shaker in this world is Jay Leno's Garage, 14.2 million, 98 percent increase, and I think that's on the strength of his Corvette video. Mm -hmm. He got, and I'm jealous, uh, early access and private access to the new vet, uh, and so he got to talk to the engineers, he got the thing before it was actually unveiled. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that one video blew up and uh, that's why you're seeing such a huge number. He's also got its own, obviously, TV show, Jay Leno's Garage. He used to be the host of The Tonight Show. So if you want celebrity car review, 
your viewers, that's your man. He also has a massive garage of pretty much uh, uh, any classic car you can think of, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, incredible collection. And finally, what's trending down? Well, it, it's a little stuff. tricky because their metrics are kind of all over the place. Um, but Motor Trend, so this is their June month. They were down 5%. But Motor Trend's kind of an interesting player because they went to their own um, pay-to-play platform, correct? Yeah, Motor Trend on Demand, and then they were... They, they partnered, but I think they were purchased by the Discovery Network, uh, and so they're down to 15.8 million, and they were at one point up by I mean, 30 million monthly views. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, they were the pioneers on YouTube right back when we started. They were cranking out some of the most incredible videos, and I'm thinking of things like Dirt Every Day, Roadkill. Roadkill all right, this was like quality television quality videos, uh, but unfortunately they then turned their YouTube channel into a big advertisement for Motor Trend On Demand, uh, and then Motor Trend On Demand went uh, cable TV, and so it's gone all over the place. Although it, they have brought some more original content back to YouTube, I think mainly to promote um, MotorTrend.com, right? But there are actually some full episodes now appearing on YouTube, which is cool. Once again, when a corporation gets involved, uh, then the money model uh, definitely changes uh, and it's uh, more important for them to um, generate larger revenues than are possible at this point on YouTube and so things change and of course the stuff they were doing um, dirt, um, uh, dirt Every Day and uh, Roadkill, these were very expensive series, high production quality and actually they were one of the few car channels that originally got a deal with YouTube uh, where they were paid by YouTube to actually produce videos and at that time I think it was them and Drive, remember the Drive? And Car and Driver I think. Yeah, and Car and Driver that got that deal um, and it wasn't a lot. If I recall it was like $3,000 per video which is, you know. Well that no, is a lot. Well it's, it's, it's a, tremendous. It's, it's not a lot when you're driving up to Alaska. No, that's true. <laughs> well guys, if you like this series, Boomer Bust, let us know in the comments below and let us know what channels we've forgotten about that you enjoy watching and I think next week we're going to do um, the vloggers. Yeah, so car vloggers. Yeah, you know, like... Um, Street Speed. speed um, um, I think you can say that Dude in Blue is one of them. Yeah, yeah. All, all your favorite vehicle Adam versions. Adam LZ, yeah, yeah, DJ yeah. Hunt, all those guys. All those guys. So thanks for watching and uh, remember, check out TFL Card. TFL Truck and TFL Now, and we'll see you guys next time. Ciao.